Um, in this video, we're going to look at the addition and uh, multiplication of complex numbers. Um, so, we're going to look at uh, examples like these ones, how to evaluate um, uh, these type of examples. So, let's just get uh, the rules uh, in place. So, to add uh, or subtract uh, two complex numbers, um, we add and uh, or subtract the real parts separately and the imaginary parts separately. So this is basically just the principle of adding like terms. And then to multiply complex numbers, we multiply in the same manner as we do in binomials. Binomials, algebraic expressions with two terms. So in this case, it's the real part and the imaginary part. And then we express uh, the powers of i uh, in terms of plus or minus 1 or plus or minus i. So these are integer powers of i. We've uh, looked at those ones uh, in a previous video. Uh, if you are not up to speed with that, um, we'll post a link so that you can refresh your um, memory. Okay, so in uh, these examples, we will evaluate we perform each um, operation and then we want the answer in the form a plus ib this is just uh, saying in the form real part plus imaginary part so we're going to start off with uh, the first example so here we've got 4i in 2 uh, 2 minus 5i and then minus 5i in 2 uh, 3 minus 2i so we will uh, multiply these uh, remove the brackets as usual so 4i times 2 it's going to give us uh, 8i and then 4i uh, times negative 5i 4 times 5 is 20 and then i times i is i squared then next we've got 5i times 3 so that's simply going to be minus 15i and then for the last multiplication we've got minus and minus that's going to give us plus 5 times 2 is 10 and i times i is i squared so then we collect terms so uh, 8i uh, goes with uh, um, 15i and then 20i squared goes with uh, 10i squared so um, 8i Mm, minus 15i it's going to give us uh, minus 7i and then minus 20i squared plus 10i squared that's going to give us minus 10i squared we're almost there now then all that needs to happen is we uh, remember that i squared is actually negative 1 so this is going to be 10 minus 7i okay so that is the first one and then in the second one we've got uh, 2 plus 3i complex conjugate of that and then we're multiplying this by 4 uh, plus 5i so the first thing we're going to do is to um work out the conjugate of this so um conjugation we say it involves just uh, negating the real imaginary part so this becomes 2 minus 3i okay and then after that we just multiply out as we do with uh, double brackets so uh, first we're going to have uh, um say two times four and then we're going to do uh two times five i so two times four is going to give us eight and then two times five i is going to give us ten i then after that we're going to do a negative three times four negative 3 times 5i negative 3 times 4 is going to give us negative 12i 
And then negative 3 times 5i is going to give us negative 15i squared. Um, we've got uh, like terms in the middle here. So 10i minus 12i is going to be minus 2i. Then, uh, of course, negative, sorry, i squared is negative 1. So this is going to work out to 8 minus 2i plus 15. So this is going to be 23 minus 2i. Okay, then going to C, we have got x plus iy multiplied by x minus iy. So the first thing we notice here is that we've got a difference of two squares. So we know that uh, a plus b into a minus b um, is a difference of two squares. It gives us a squared minus b squared. In this case, a is x, b is i, y. So this is going to give us x squared minus i, y squared so for the second term we have got i squared y squared um, okay and, and so this of course works out to x squared minus negative 1 y squared so this is x squared plus y squared now this is going to be very important going forward especially when we start doing um, division of complex numbers. So let me just uh, emphasize, because if you look at this, this is actually our regular uh, definition of the complex number. And this is our definition of the um, complex conjugate. So what this thing is saying is that uh, um, z times its conjugate is always going to give us the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared. So and um, we are going to need uh, this result when we do um, division of uh, complex numbers in the next video so I just want to keep that one in mind all right um, so for the next example uh, which is uh, D so in D we have uh, 2 minus 3 i all squared so here um, if we use uh, this uh, algebraic formula a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so what we're going to have is 2 squared then 2 times 2 times minus 3i and then uh, this is going to be uh, 3i squared um, So, of course, you might want to, yeah, so maybe let me, let, me, let me do the minus case here. Well, with the minus case, what you do get is uh, a minus b squared, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, the squared terms are always positive. Okay, so coming back to our setup, so this is going to be 4. This is going to be minus 4 times 3 here. It's going to give us 12i. And then the last term is going to be 9i squared. And then, of course, i squared uh, is negative 1. So that's 4 minus 9. So that's going to be minus 5 minus 12i is going to be our final answer and then in e we have got uh, 2 plus 3i cubed this time so we're going to have to use the binomial um, theorem to expand this um, 
because uh, this uh, the the powers well the power is not so large just going to use uh, um, Pascal's triangle um, so this for, for power 2 so these are the coefficients for power 3 all right so what's going to happen then so this thing is going to have uh, four terms the first term is going to be two cubed okay then for the second term the coefficient is going to be three which is this one and then the power of two goes down by one and then um three i is to the power one then the next term again the coefficient is three which is this one power of two now goes down to one power of three i goes to two and then for the last term it's going to be three i to the power three so the powers of three i are ascending while the powers of two are descending so that is the binomial um, structure then all we need to sim is to simplify this 2 cubed is 8 and then for this term we're going to have 3 times 4 which is 12 times 3 so this is going to be 36 i um, then for the next one 3 times 2 is 6 and then this one 3 squared is 9 and uh, this is going to be 9 i squared for the last one 3 cubed is 27 uh, then it's going to be 27 i cubed and then uh, we have got to express these powers of i in terms of plus or minus 1 or plus or minus i as a uh, as, uh, as, uh, as the case may be so this is going to be 36 i we know i squared is a negative 1 so this is going to be 54 times negative 1 and then i cubed is negative i so again like i said uh, you can check our video for uh, the powers of i but this one we can do quickly so i cubed is i squared times i but i squared is negative one so this is going to be negative i so then after that we collect terms the real terms will be 8 minus 54 which is going to give us negative 46 the imaginary terms will be 36 minus 27 which is going to give us 9i and so that is going to be the final answer for that one right so at this point we're going to give you an opportunity uh, just to work through the remaining problems so we've gone up to e so i'm going to give you an opportunity to work through f g and h and then um, so you might want to pause the video when you press play um, and continue the video then you can compare with uh, our solutions all right uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for fg and h uh, by the way thank you for visiting our channel and uh, watching this video hope that um, uh, our videos are helpful to you uh, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that uh, you can get uh, notified whenever we post uh, new material and uh, you can like the video and if you've got any questions you can uh, uh, leave them in the comment section below all right so if I, um, for f we have got uh, 1 minus uh, uh, 2i to the power of 7 times 2 minus i so first thing we need to do is to express this in terms of plus or minus 1 or plus or minus i so we've uh, said uh, we've got uh, these are uh, um, high powers you need to look for a number multiple of four uh, closest to 27 but less than 27 in this case is 24 
It's going to be i to the power 24 times i cubed, but uh, this cause is a multiple of 4. It's just going to give us 1. So it's just i cubed, which we know is negative i. So if you take this and plug it in here, then it means uh, our expression is going to be 1 minus 2 negative i, which works out to 1 plus 2i into 2 minus i. Then when you do the multiplication as usual, we find that the final answer is 4 plus 3i. For g, we just expand this. Uh, so it's a plus b all squared, so it's a squared to a b. It's b squared, and uh, this works out to minus 7 plus 24i for h. We have got a power of 4, so we're going to use the binomial. Um, and uh, from Pascal's triangle, these are the coefficients for power 4. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So we've got them here, 4, 6, and 4. Okay. Um, so for this one, it's just going to be um, a times 4 times negative i, which is negative 32. And then this one... 6 times 4 is 24, then negative i squared is i squared. So maybe let's uh, just uh, clarify that one here. So negative i squared is like this. So the two negatives um, will uh, work out to a positive here. So that's the same as i squared. And then if we do the same thing for negative i cubed, um, so for negative i cubed, we've got negative i times negative i times negative i. So these two will make a plus. So this thing is going to be negative i cubed like that. Um, so that's why we have got uh, this negative 8i cubed here. And then if you do the same thing for i to the power 4, it's just going to be i to the power 4. And then i squared is negative 1, i cubed is negative i, i to the power 4 is 1. We'll simplify and so that is going to be our final answer. Alright, thank you.